So this video right here, I'm excited to make because I, out of all my time in reviewing iPhone accessories, I think this is the very first time that I have seen anything like this. And huge shout out to Nomad for continually to push the envelope when we are talking about leather goods for your iPhone series and all your Apple products. They have just came out with the super minimalist thing, the minimalist product. This is as minimal as minimal as minimal can get. Maximum minimalist, okay? And this is the Nomad leather back for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And of course, huge shout to Nomad for always hooking your boy up with the latest and greatest when it comes to this. Now, looking at this right here, you're like, T, what in the world is this right here? How can that do anything when we are talking about protecting my iPhone 15 Pro Max? Now, I've been using this for about a day and I have my thoughts about it. Some people are calling it a game changer, but is it really? And we're gonna get to talk about it because you know I'm gonna keep it real and I'm gonna get into all the little nitty gritty when it comes to things like this. So as you look at the construction of it, it has all the remnants that you see when you're talking about looking at a Nomad case. So you're gonna get very nice soft felt lining on the inside. You're gonna get a little mag safe ring that goes around it. Now, we don't see that alignment magnet. Let's check to see if it's actually there. And yes, that alignment magnet is there. Although it's not pictured, the alignment magnet is there. And that's one thing that I definitely want to check because the alignment magnet makes all the difference when we are talking about MagSafe accessories. Now on the three corners right here, you're gonna get some reusable kind of sticky pads. Now I've seen this on a few different products. So it will allow you to take it off, remove it, take it off and remove it, but not a ton of times, all right? So if this is a person, if you're a person who wants to use this, stick it on the back of your phone and let it ride out, cool, do that. But if you're gonna be constantly taking it on and off, on and off, on and off, eventually you may begin to mess with that adhesive strength. So that's something to think about when it comes to that. And of course, you're gonna get your camera cut out. Flipping over on the back, this is gonna give you that nice, and let me, ooh, and I got to smell that one more time because it smells like a fresh pair of Tim's, if you know what I'm talking about, man. Let me just, you're gonna get that very nice leather smell and you already know what to do next. Make sure you leave that grease print to let you know that it's gonna help the patina right there when we are talking about it. So this is gonna be their brown color. Flex, and then you're gonna get the little black piece that goes around your camera. Super light, all right? Let's go ahead and weigh this thing because this thing is feather, feather light. And we're gonna see how much this weighs because it's not really gonna add that much to it. So. 33 grams, so it almost weighs as much as a super thin minimal like later case or something like that. It almost weighs as thin as that. So, you, you know, you got a little bit of something to it, but nothing too bad. So basically the way this works is it basically just magnetizes to the back of your phone. And what I want you to do is kind of press those four corners where those adhesive pads are. So just give them a little bit of press so it's not going to pop off automatically or anything easy and this is basically what you are working with now this is all it adds to it this is it let's go ahead and slap it back on the scale and see how much it weighs with this on it because i feel like it's not going to be that much of a huge difference 271 it keeps bouncing back and forth 271 grams with the nomad magnetic leather back with the iphone 15 pro max so the thing i love about this is how precise they made this thing because one thing i was thinking about was am i going to be able to feel the rough edges when we are holding it is that something that i'm going to really be able to feel and i love the way it feels in hand because it feels like a naked phone but it does feel like you have something back there and that's a good thing because it's so flush they made this thing so flush with the sides they made it very nice and tapered so there's no rough transition of phone to the back of the magnetic case and i love it all the way around just so flush nice precision like this is a product that i would have never even thought about let's just be real like i'm always constantly thinking about what accessories can we get out there to help us you know just experience our phones a little bit better this is one that caught me by left field i would have never thought about that so huge shot to nomad man but one thing that i definitely wanted to see and of course this is going to give you that nice full grain that will develop that nice patina that nice wear and tear will show those scratches but that's what you want in a leather case to show that age to show that use and to show that wear that's what you want to see when it comes to a leather case now one thing that i really wanted to test out was magsafe how would this perform against something that has a strong magnet. Will it pull off? Will it remain up there? So that's something that I definitely wanted to check. So of course it's gonna work just fine when it comes to, what I'm about to say wireless, Wi-Fi charging. It's, it's wireless, but not Wi-Fi, all right? But when you pop it on here and you lift it up, it works fine. Like the magnet is almost trying to pick this, this base up. So that shows you that even through the actual case and that magnetic back, you're getting some type of good connection that is feels like a very confident MagSafe magnet. So that I can appreciate. Now, 
Let's go ahead and move on to something like a wallet. If you want to use something like a MagSafe wallet, how does that perform? Now, when it comes to the magnetic strength of this, this is basically gonna be the same MagSafe wallet compared on to any leather case out there in the market. Kind of slippery characteristics on slippery. So therefore it may tend to come off pretty easy, but we're still not getting any remnants of this leather back moving or anything like that. So I decided to take it a step further and go ahead and get the MagSafe battery pack and pop it on. And of course it works with all your MagSafe accessories. There's begin charging, not Chi2, but this is the demonstration, the anchor battery pack for the Shake Shake test and all of that. Now, this thing has a pretty decent magnet. So when you pull this, you can kind of see it wanting to pull that magnetic back off. You see what I'm saying? So this was what I was concerned about, something like that. Is it able to pull that back off when we are talking about using certain accessories? So it's something that you gotta be mindful about. If you have something that uses strong magnets, it could potentially put it apart. Now, will these little corners get seasoned over time and really allow it to get sticky enough to where it will kind of combat that issue? That's a great possibility, but it's something to keep in mind. But I feel like the average person really isn't out here using all these strong products for when it comes to your magnet. Although this is probably one of the most popular MagSafe battery packs out there, I don't think it's gonna cause an issue for some people or a lot of people out there on the market. Now, let's go ahead and do the, the Mag, so the Mag Shake Shake test, the magnet just went over there and it flew off over there and I'm not going to pick it up. But the magnet isn't going to be super duper strong, standard protocol. But once again, nobody's shaking their stuff like a madman. But y'all kind of know how the Mag Shake Shake test goes and it make my battery pack just completely fly over there in the corner where I can't pick it up. But when you're looking at it, this is still basically, let's just keep it real. It's basically like running a naked iPhone. So... The only protection that you're gonna get, and hopefully you go into this already knowing this, a lot of people use naked iPhones, point blank period. You have a lot of people who love something like the Art Pulse that I reviewed that you can still see the characteristics of your phone and still protect it in areas where you need protecting. But when it comes to the Nomad MagSafe back, you still need to keep this thing protected. Now, one thing that I would have loved to have seen was them to put some type of little leather claws that go around it to help the corners because we know when you drop a phone, it's not really your back. It's those corners when it comes to dropping your phone. So if you did drop it, this phone is going to act just as if your phone was naked with no case on it. So that's something to think about. Now, are you going to completely shatter the back of your phone? You might be a little bit protected because of this magnetic back, but that's something to keep in mind. Yes, it could be a game changer and all of these things that people want to say, but the characteristics is you're still basically using a naked iPhone because these pressure points where your phone will drop still can potentially happen. But once again, there are people out there who run their iPhones naked who aren't even worried about that. So I wouldn't worry about it as well. If you're out there, you're like, you know what? I've always ran my iPhone naked. I just like that little touch, that little aesthetic, that the Nomad MagSafe back gets to it. Then I can't even blame you. Go ahead and rock out with it. So this is going to be it, man. This is going to be the Nomad Magnetic Leather Back. And let me check the price point because I've never checked the price point for this. And I want to see how that compares to using the actual leather case. So let's pause real quick. We're going to bounce right back. So I checked the price point real quick and we're looking at $40 for this Nomad Magnetic Back. So take that as you may. There are a lot of great cases out there that don't even cost 40 bucks. That's going to give you that protection. So you really have to see what this is worth to you. Do you like to have just a naked iPhone and not really worry about the protection of your whole over overall device or do you want to run something very minimal like this that just simply gets the job done on a very minimal as minimal as maximum minimalist can get that's something you got to think about man but shout out to nomad nonetheless of an excellent product that they have came out with that i have never would have thought about when we are talking about the overall grand scheme of iphone accessories i can't talk right there i said iphone iphone but I think it's dope. I think it's good. And it is for a very niche market, especially when we are talking about people who want to keep things more on the minimal side. So I will drop that link down below. The current recording of this video, it is sold out. So I'm not sure how y'all going to take that. Maybe they'll pop back in stock, but it is sold out right now. But keep an eye on it. If this is something you're interested, make sure you head to the website, hit notify, so you can kind of let you know when there is something going on. But if you're rocking with Nomad and you love the way they're their leather smell because they have one of the best leather smells out there on the market. You might want to go ahead and check out their modern leather case. It's going to give you that protection all the way around. It's going to give you that very nice patina. But like I said, it's going to protect your iPhone all the way around. I'll be sure to pop that video right here.